The first image that you see with this exhibit is Harry Haslam, the 1920s Olympic goalkeeper in the kit of the day. Very basic. A pair of leg guards, probably from cricket, a woolly jumper, a pair of gloves and not a lot else. The game developed enormously since then, although goalkeepers have featured in hockey teams right from the very first days. With the introduction of artificial turf, many aspects of hockey have changed and goalkeeping is probably one of the greatest. The style of keeping changed from a fairly upright position to goalkeepers becoming much more active and in fact performing defensive acts that would not have been possible with the early equipment that we saw Harry Haslam wearing. In order to achieve this we looked to other sports and ice hockey was one of those and in the 1984 Olympics Ian Taylor together with the management team looked to, to protect him with more and more equipment so that he could dash out regardless of injury uh, but be protected by the equipment provided. So you see here arm and shoulder protectors and he also had chest protection and padded shorts together with much more substantial leg guards than you saw Harry wearing. So the game began to change enormously and goalkeepers would rush out, log to the ground in what we call logging and defend the ball preventing the striker at the corners from being able to hit the backboards because of the height of the logged goalkeeper. 